Hello everyone! Today we wanted to show you three recipes of crepes that my family loves. For the first recipe we will need whipped cream, eggs, salt, sugar, vanilla extract, baking powder, water and flour. In a big bowl where we will be mixing the dough, we put in three room temperature eggs, a quarter teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of sugar and one quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. Early on, you will need to sift out one and a half cups of flour. Then you need to add half a teaspoon of baking powder. Mix and set aside. Whisk the egg mass and add in one and a half cups of room temperature whipped cream. You need to use 33 to 35% whipped cream. Next, into the liquid mass, you will need to add the flour and baking powder. Mix so there are no clumps. Currently, we will slowly be adding one and a half cups of hot water. Add the water in small portions and slowly, until it reaches the right consistency. The exact amount of ingredients and the links for the other videos of crepes can be found in the info box below. If you see that your dough has become a bit too thick, then you can add more water. If your dough gets clotted up, then you can use a blender or a colander. Leave the dough to rest on the counter for 30 minutes. Next, on a warmed up skillet, we will cook the thin crepes normally. For this recipe, we don't need to grease the pan or add any butter to the dough, as the whipped cream makes it greasy enough. These crepes turn out to be very thin so you need to be careful when flipping them. We serve these crepes with whipped cream. For this we will need 100 ml of whipping cream and 2 tablespoons of icing sugar. Mix until it reaches a soft consistency, then put that in a bag. Cut the corner off of the bag and use it to put in on the plate. Let's cook with us and surprise your friends and family. For the beet crepes recipe we will need Beet, buttermilk, eggs, sugar, salt, baking soda, vegetable oil, water and flour. Early on, you need to cook a medium-sized beet. Take 100 grams of beet, cut into cubes and put them into the blender with one cup of buttermilk. Blend it until it's smooth. We don't recommend putting any more beets in, as when you do, the mixture begins to taste more like them, and not everybody likes them. In a big bowl, pour the beet and buttermilk mixture. After you have done that, you can add 3 room temperature eggs. With a whisk or a fork, mix until everything comes together. While mixing, add in 1 tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt and 3 tablespoons of any kind of vegetable oil that you would like. In a separate bowl, sift out 1 and a half cups of flour and add half a teaspoon of baking soda. Mix well and add it into the liquid ingredients. After, we use a blender to make the dough smooth. Currently, we will slowly be adding 1 and a half cups of warm water. Mix each time that you add water. Do this to check the consistency of the dough. If you feel like you need to, you can add more water. If your dough gets clouded up, you can use a blender or use a colander. Now we will need to let the dough rest on the counter for a minimum of 30 minutes. Next, on a warmed up skillet, we will cook the thin crepes normally. Then color of the crepes depends on the color of your bead, so they can be more red or pink. We make these crepes into a tube and serve them with Greek yogurt or sour cream. Thank you for staying with us on this journey. Thank you for all the subscribers and all the likes and the comments that you give. And the final recipe of today is spinach crepes. You will need spinach, water, eggs, milk, salt, sugar, baking soda, vegetable oil and flour. The exact amount of ingredients will be in the info box below. First, we will need to get the spinach ready. For this, we will need 800 grams of spinach, 
and a half a cup of water. Blend until it is of one consistency. We used fresh spinach, but you can also use frozen spinach. If you are using frozen spinach, then you need to defrost it in the refrigerator. Add the rest of the spinach and blend until it's smooth. In a big bowl, put the spinach in and three room temperature eggs. With a whisk or a fork, mix until everything comes together. Currently, we will be adding one tablespoon of sugar. Then we may add one quarter teaspoon of salt. You need to add two tablespoon of any kind of vegetable oil that you would like. And we will need to add half a of a cup of milk. Before you start, you need to sift one and a half cups of flour into a separate bowl. Into the flour we will need to add one quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. Mix well and add in into the batter. After, we use a blender to make the dough smooth. Finally, you'll need to slowly add one cup of milk to the mixture. If your dough gets clotted up, then you can use a blender or use a colander. Now, leave the dough to rest on the counter for a minimum of 30 minutes. The dough will get thicker as it rests. Mix and check the consistency of the dough. If you need to add more water, you can do so. You will need to warm up your pan early on. You will need to grease the pan with vegetable oil and then cook the crepes for 30 to 40 seconds on each side. These crepes are healthy, delicious, and a beautiful green color. These crepes are usually served with Greek yogurt or sour cream. It's also delicious to put cottage cheese inside of these crepes. We hope that these recipes were helpful to you. Make them and make your friends and family happy. Thank you for watching. And see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.